so last time we uh, discussed about how soil is formed the color parameters etc porosity density etc right soil is around uh, 45% healthy soil it is around 45% minerals the rocks which have weathered down and become part of the soil that's 45% other 25% would be air other 25% would be your uh, water other 25% is water what about the other 5% the other 5% is the most important thing when it comes to soil is the major reason we can't synthesize soil in a factory so the other uh, 5% the 5% is mostly organic content it's uh, decomposed leaves organic matter from decomposed leaves its roots and then come the uh, critters the small critters arthropods millipedes earthworms mites soil mites and bacteria thousands of types of bacteria fungi and actinomycetes so these may just con- constitute just 5% of the soil but they are very important they are the ones who keep the soil structure good they are the ones which make all these minerals bioavailable to the plants so let's uh, today let's discuss more about let's learn more about this organic or microbial uh, content of the soil when you go to your uh, farm or let's say you go to a park nearby and you see the leaves they keep falling down so typically they fall every time when it uh, certain seasons the f- if you go to a forest it's complete the floor is covered with leaf litter because of sun they may get shriveled up but they should have accumulated over the decades right why are we not like waist deep or neck deep in leaf litter you know farms or in the forest it's because of the action of microbes they start decomposing this leaf litter and they make it a uh, part of the uh, soil this 5% so let's see how this uh, leaf litter gets converted into soil so that we can apply the same principles in our farms so the first uh, batch of organisms which act on this leaf leaves we can call them as shredders so what does a shredder do if you go to some organic farms a lot of these guys they have uh, mechanical shredders so what they do is they collect all the leaf litter dead branches etc then they put it into the shredder and this chops it into finer pieces smaller pieces and they spread it over the fields so the reason they tell they do this is because the uh, bacteria it finds it easier to act and decompose this smaller leaves so in a forest or in a healthy forest ecosystem nobody is doing this the forest department is not going there with mega shredders they <laughs> the, if you give them idea maybe they will do that but still uh, nobody is doing this it's all natural there are a set of organisms which do the shredding work so so who are these shredders the first set would be animals like uh, it, they could be moles rats small uh, other rodents then the smaller critters like uh, earthworms mites millipedes etc they break down these leaves into smaller pieces then another set of shredders take over these are uh, amoeba uh, amoeba and paramecium so they start their work they start the decomposition process by working on lignin and pectin if you take any plant the cell wall which <coughs> gives the tree its shape which gives the tree its strength the cell wall is made up of lignin and pectin and these are uh, complex materials harder to break down so unless the cell wall is broken down the inner in a parts they can't be broken down so this amoeba and uh, paramecium they start working on these cell walls if you pick up like a uh, slightly decomposed leaf litter 
and let it go you will see that there, there are some threads in between this is basically secreted by these amoeba and paramecium so after amoeba and paramecium the amoeba eating bacteria takes over they start devouring these amoeba and paramecium and they uh, replicate in millions and trillions and they get added to this decomposing mixture and while this decomposition start uh, by um, uh, bacteria starts the temperature rises because they secrete some chemicals which also gets added to the decomposing mixture and the temperature rises it rises so much that it starts affecting the bacteria itself the bacteria they start dying because of the temperature they generate and at this time some organisms called actinomycetes they take over and they love this heat they take this heat even more and they start acting on the uh, decomposing leaves after their work is done the let's say the uh, decomposing heap the temperature comes down to normal and this is when the ultimate decomposers which are fungi they take over and finish the work of decomposition but uh, if you go to a forest this cycle gets completed the fungi they can uh, work on the completing the decomposition but if you go to an agriculture field this cycle doesn't get completed because fungi need undisturbed environment or soil but if you go to agriculture land we uh, keep tilling it for different purposes and this doesn't allow the fungi to take over and this is how the soil start forming